Why are you dressed up for work so early? I have a 7.30 with um, the couple. Oh. That's all right. Yeah, that mm. one. I see. Hopefully they sign the divorce papers today so that we all can have some peace. <laughs> this is why people are so scared of marriage. I mean, how do you go from loving someone to hating them after so many years? Well, I don't know. I guess uh, people drift about sometimes when they don't put in the work. You know, but not all marriages are bad. You know, you have, you know, you have a couple of them out there, you know, working it out and, you know, it's thriving and things are going well for them. One in a million. One in a million? Mm -hmm. I disagree. Several in a million. Be positive, babe. Okay, you win. You win. Yeah. If you say so. I'm off. Okay. Do you need some sugar? The workaholic. I am not a workaholic. <laughs> well, no workaholic admits she is one. Well, if doing my job, so when my salary comes, I'll be deserving of it. Is hard work? I'm uh, not a workaholic. No, no, no. Hold, hold on. What are you saying? That I don't deserve my salary when it comes? Ah, why did I say that? <laughs> did I ever say anything like that? Eh? Besides, I thought we were talking about me. Whatever. Jeez. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. What's the dance about? No, 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 Please, no. Please, spill, 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 spill. Sidi, no, sorry, I can't share this one with you. I can't share this one with you, I'm sorry. Since when? No, no, the door has seen. When will you not share things with me? Have I spill, spill, spill? Why are we dancing? Sina, say anything you like. Seriously, I will not share this one with you. I am sorry. Dora, you're a suspect too. Tell me now. So, wait, it has gotten to this now. We're hiding things from each other, Abby. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I need to go now. I have a lunch date with someone, okay? Okay, and let's go I together. Then. I, 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 I said someone special. Hold on. I'll tell you everything now. Don't be in a hurry. Dora, I don't know what's going on with you. Why is that to you, babe? Hold on, not be in a hurry. I deserve 50% share of the family's properties. You deserve nothing from me. Oh, yes, I do. These years I've been with you it has been the worst years of my life. Claire. Your sin is because of that young trash of a girlfriend you just met. Oh, thank God you said she is young. She's young and strong and she gives to me anything, <laughs> anywhere I want. She stays one hour away. Look at who's talking. I mean, but we both know you can hardly get up. Basta, did you hear that? She just insulted my manhood. Did you hear that? Margaret. How can I insult what doesn't exist? exist? It doesn't exist. How can I even insult what doesn't exist? What doesn't exist? Has, uh, okay, okay, guys, guys. Um, <sighs> settle down, settle down. <laughs> uh, please. Okay. Um, I think we'll have to reschedule. Yeah, yeah. A different time when when both of you are much calmer and then we can have this session okay please please calm down thank you very much please. don't mind the silly man silly woman silly man silly woman silly man rubbish. you can't even get to stand in rubbish surprise <laughs> everybody's here My love, before I met you, I thought I was complete. I didn't need anything. 
Dit niet een oor. And then I met you. And realized that I wasn't complete. Because you complete me. Tina, you're an amazing woman. And I want you in my corner for the rest of my life. I'm gonna ask you, baby. Will you marry me? Please. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe I am going to be a maid of honor for the first time in my life. You, 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 you. <laughs> All right. I need to leave now. All right, Charles. Good night. Thank you so much. Huh? See you tomorrow. All right, darling. Drive safe. <laughs> That's okay. Whew. Finally, I have you all to myself, baby. Hmm? Oh, baby. Hmm? What? I... We need to talk. What? Talk like right now? Nah, you know what? Leave all that wedding talk and plans uh, for later. Right now, I just want you to myself. Oh, you know what I'm babe, saying? Like, babe, I'm it's sick. time for... Come on, man. Babe, you need to listen to me. You're serious? Are you okay? What, what's the matter? I don't want to get married. What? Baby, you... I proposed to you in front of our friends and you said yes. I know, Charles. I know, but... I... What? This is crazy. What are you doing? Why? Why did you say yes to me in the first place? Why? I didn't know what else to do. I, I felt ambushed. Besides, what did you want me to do? I couldn't have said no in front of our friends. Ambushed. Yes, yes, Charles. You should have asked me first. Charles, I don't want to get married. Sweetheart, we've been together for years, for a, for a very know, long time. I know, but that doesn't mean we should rush into marriage. I, Baby. I, did, did you say rush? We, what you, you 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 think we're rushing? I told you from the onset that I don't want to get married. You were fine with it. What changed? Uh, yeah, I know. Listen, baby, I know. Okay, I, I, I know. I, 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 I know that you know marriage was, was not part of the plan from the start. I know. But oh, come on, baby. Time have passed. A few things have changed and I just, I just want you. I, I, I want more. I don't want more, Charles. I don't, I don't want more. Marriage is not, it's not my thing. I don't want to get married. Don't you get it? I don't want to get married. I'm sorry. Oh my God. You know, for the first time, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Charles. 
This marriage thing is not for me. I'm sorry. Just pretend. Let's pretend. Even though my heart wants it to be real. Let's pretend. Even though you know that we were meant to be. Let's pretend. But somehow I wish that we really didn't have to. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend. Like a mirage, I try to let you go, but it's the same like I am running from my shadows. Loving you, loving you, or letting you yeah, go. Here comes the bride, here comes the bride, here comes a beautiful bride in white. Here comes the bride. In why you didn't knock Dora? So, what if I was with a client? Well, I am not supposed to knock because I am your bestie, and I am still your boss. Oh, well, Tina, mind how you talk to me, else you get yourself another maid of honor. Mm hmm. Well, my thought. I have this cousin of mine. She is a wedding planner and a designer. She makes very beautiful wedding dresses, very affordable. I can actually talk to her to make something for us. And um, we'll also... Dora, uh, there will be no wedding. Yes, I can take care of everything for, 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 for us. All the dresses, I will take care of it. She also... Yes, do you remember Anne? You remember the dress she wore? Very beautiful. She made it. Even the reception oh, dress. Yeah, she also, she also, no made for the, she also makes for the men. I know when you are ready. Oh my God. <coughs> hold on. Tina, hold on, hold on. Did you say something? Dara, there will be no wedding. I am not getting married, okay? So stop with the designer dresses, wedding decorator, event planner and all that, okay? What do you mean there will be no wedding? Where's your ring? I gave it back to Charles. Why? Because I don't want to get married. <laughs> Tina is too early for these pranks. Don't even go there. I am not playing pranks. I'm being serious. Tina, you are 32. And you're telling me you're not ready for marriage? And what has age got to do with marriage? I don't want to get married. I am not ready for marriage, okay? This marriage thing is not for me. And that's it. As you can see, I have work to do, okay? So, please. You have to end that relationship ASAP. It's 
not that easy, you know. Mm -hmm. This lady, this lady in question, she turned down your proposal. Is it not obvious that she doesn't love you the same way that you do? That hurt you though. I know. That really hurt. But I'm confused. What have I not said? What have I not done? I have tried everything in the books to convince her. I don't get it. How do you date someone? that you cannot marry. <laughs> you know, a lot of people see this whole relationship thing as a game. Yeah. And when they want to play, they play really dirty. I didn't see this game coming. I know. I was actually rooting for both of you, you know. And you know the worst part of this? I told my mom about the marriage already. You don't say. Oh, gosh. Now you're going to dash that woman's hope. What was I supposed to do? I was excited about the prospects of marrying Tina. So I went ahead to tell my mom about it before proposing to her. How was I supposed to know that Tina would say no? This is my stop. Timmy, do you think Tina is cheating on me? Seriously? Yeah, option B. Like, like you're asking me that question? Yeah. You're supposed to be asking her that question, not me. That's true. Oof. I will have a conversation with her when I get home. Charles, come on. If you ask me, I actually think you should call it quits with her. Oh. Love is a two-way street, mm. all right? But you're doing all the work here. Mm. Boy, that hit me like a thunderbolt. Oh. But I can't let her go. That girl is everything to me. I love her. You have to. I know, but I can't. You have to let her go. I know it is going to hurt. It will hurt you. I know this for sure, but look, think about it this way. Why be with someone who doesn't love you enough to marry you? Think about it. Let that marinate. Think about it. What's strange? Very strange. I didn't think I would meet you here. And why would I not be here? Is that a funny question? Hmm? Is that not a very funny question, Tina? Why, why is that? I never said I wanted out of this relationship. I just said I did not want to get married. What is, what is the difference? What's the difference? There's a whole lot of difference, Charles. Look, I love you, but... But what? But you can't marry me. How does that even make sense? Huh? How? Charles, I... Do you know why? Why would you pull me in and allow me fall in love with you? Why? Would you spend all this time with me if you knew you had an option? Why? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Don't pretend. Quit the pretense right now. You have an option. You have someone else in your life. How else do you explain the situation right here? How else? 
Why would you say a thing like that, Charles? I am so disappointed in you. Have I ever for one day given you a reason to doubt my loyalty in this relationship? Not until now. Oh. I have lived with you for so many months now. And I look at you, you know what I see? A total stranger. I never really knew you, you know. I never did. I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. And disappointed. I feel very, very betrayed by you. Um, I'll leave. Why? You can stay. I'll, I'll just go to the other room. It's okay. Oh, no, don't worry. It's fine. I'll go to the other room. You, you can stay here. Okay? Charles, it's your house and it's your room. So you can stay anywhere you what? want. So now it's my house? It's now my house? I don't want another fight. What makes okay. you think I want to fight? I'm tired of fighting. Look, I'll just go. Please. No, no, I'm tired of fighting now. Come on, now let's go fight. I'm tired. Eh? Please. Please, baby, please. Charles, no, it's Charles. Charles, I'm, what? I'm, I'm just tired of fighting. Eh? Stop. I, I Stop just am going to go to. No, no. Please, don't go. Eh? Please. Please. I don't want to land this bed all by myself. Please, let's not fight. Please. This is your house. <laughs> please. He's not. Mm -hmm. Have you agreed? Would you stay? Mm -hmm. Stay down. Stay. Mm -hmm. Stay. <laughs> you know what? Not today. Let's pretend that someday you'll take my hand and say, I do. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend. Even though my heart wants it to be real. Let's pretend. What are you doing? We really didn't have to. Let's huh? pretend. Let's just pretend. Where's the love that lasts forever? And I dream about each time. I see what are you doing? I'm leaving, Charles. It's obvious things are not the same between us ever since the proposal thing. So this is it. You're willing to let go of a three-year relationship. Sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. Stop saying that. Why, Tina? Why? I've told you why already. I don't want to get married. I don't. This marriage thing is not for me, Charles. But that's a lie. It's me, right? No. 
There has to be something about me that makes the idea of marrying me so awful. Is it me? No, Charles, it's, it's not you. As a matter of fact, you're perfect. You're smart, you're caring. You, you're very hardworking. You're everything any woman would do. All of that and you still will not give us a chance? Come on. I'm scared to, you know. But I'm willing to do this one thing with you. Tina, marriage is not as bad as you think. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't, Charles, and there's nothing you say to me that will make me change my mind. You can't convince me. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I love you so much, Tina. And I love you too, you know that. I love you too, but I, I, I don't want to get married. It's a decision I took a long time ago and it has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, Charles. I... Take care of yourself. I'm sorry. Just pretend, let's pretend, even though my heart wants it to be real, let's pretend, even though you know that we were meant to be, let's pretend, but somehow I will. This is the best for both of us. Well, not the best for me. It's not the best for me. My life is a total mess without you in it. Please don't go. You are the very air that I breathe. Tina, you can't leave me, please. But you won't marry Charles. I can't give that to you. Well, then I'll have to leave with what you can give. Oh, please, come back. Please. Are you sure? I'd hate to see you shrink because of me. I love you. That is all I know. And I'd rather have a part of you with me than lose you completely, please. Listen, if this is really what you want, then I'll stop. I'll stop talking about marriage. I'll never bring it up again. I promise you. Just. Don't go, please. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to ascertain if you're alright. I'm okay. I doubt I that. I am A-OK. -okay. I'm very okay. Look, man, you will not you will not understand. You're not in my shoes. I know, so try and make me understand. Make me understand why you would want to ruin your life over some girl. She's not some girl. She is the love of my life. Yeah, right. Love of my life. Yeah. Yet she refused to marry you. But she's still with me. Charles. That's something. Charles, come on. This is not America, okay? You keep forgetting. You are your mother's only child, and she needs you to give her grandchildren. So what do you want me to do? Well, first things first, get her out of your life. Yes, I mean, there are too many beautiful women out there who would want you to make them your wife. 
That is what you need to do so that you can start thinking straight. Get out of your mind. I won't do it. I have hope. I've got some faith in Tina. I believe in Tina and I believe that someday soon she's going to change her mind. Yeah. And if she doesn't change her mind? Can we change the topic? Brilliant. Why are you looking at me like that now? Yes, we can work with what you have. Whatever the budget is, it's, it's not going to be a problem. That's my point exactly. I'll call you back. So this is it, Dora. So much for being my bestie. Best friends are supposed to get have each other's back. Supposed to tell each other everything. That is how best friends work. So what do you want to know? Why did you turn down Charles' proposal? If perfection is a name, that is who he is. He is too good. Dara, we've been through this before. Marriage is not my thing. I don't want to get married. Why don't you be a reverend sister then than hurting Charles? I'm not hurting him. We're still together. And we're together because we love each other deeply. Besides, why would marriage be a yardstick to measure love? Are you guys still together? Yes. You would have known if you were not avoiding me and giving me attitude this past days. Charles is too perfect. He is too good. You can say that again. I know. <sighs> but Tina, should I advise you as your friend? I need to tell you the truth. Let Charles be. He should be with someone that will give him what he deserves. And you think I've not tried to leave? In fact, I was almost out of the gates before he stopped me. You didn't want to leave because you do not want to lose him. And if you ask me, that is very selfish of you. Tina, if you don't want to marry Charles, let him go. Please, I beg you, you are, taking the, you are taking advantage of the fact that he loves you so much, and that is wrong. <laughs> Tori, you're getting this for... All I... wrong, right? Put yourself in his shoes. If it is you, how would you react? Wrong, right? I was calling you all day, darling. What, you didn't take my call. I'm sorry, babe. I had a long day at work today. I'm really sorry, really? babe. That's why I was calling you all day. Good day, ma'am. Wow. Baby girl. <sighs> you look more beautiful in person. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so <sighs> Come and give me a hug. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you, my daughter. You are a sight for so eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So, where is it? Where is what? The ring, of course. Ring? Yes, the ring. Oh, 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 the ring. The... It's upstairs. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's upstairs. Oh, well, that's nonsense. The ring needs to be on your finger at all times. The whole uh, world needs to see it and know that you are taken. Taken? Mom, we're not even married yet. That's why I'm here. Huh? Mm -hmm. To arrange the wedding with you. I mean, the both of oh. you need to get married as soon as possible. Right. Um, Charles, Charles here. Charles? Oh, please. Come on. Charles can't even organize a birthday party. Let alone a wedding. One of us will handle it. Huh? Right, Charles? Yes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's that's 
settled now. <laughs> we have a wedding to plan. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I need to go upstairs. I had a really long day at work. I, I I'll be right back. Now, you hurry up because we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I see you like her. I love her. Mm. I mean, you have great taste. Mm, yeah. Ah. I do. I do. <laughs> uh, Mom, I'll be with you in a bit. I need to take Go care of something. Go ahead and do your thing. Do your thing so I have to plan this wedding. I have to calculate. Did you know your mom was coming into the country? Oh no, I did not. I don't know, she didn't even call to tell me. According to her, she wanted to surprise us. She thinks we're getting married. Yeah, I know. I know. And that's because I I told her about my intentions with you before I, I, I proposed to you. That's why. We need to tell her we are not getting married. What, like, like right now? Oh no, come on now. We can't do that. All right, the woman just flew in from the UK to plan this wedding. We cannot do that. Wait, so what are you saying? We deceive her? Oh, come on, Charles, that's not right. No, what I'm saying is that we'll buy some time. Okay, you know, you just, you know, not now, you know. It's going to be too much of a blow to her, you know, she, she knows the truth. We will tell her later when she can handle it. Yeah, please, please. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. So, what would you do about the ring? You've returned it already, right? Oh, no, I have it. I have it. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. You know, I just can't stop looking at the ring. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Was everything okay? Just remembered your father. They thought that he won't be around to witness your wedding. It's it's so disheartening to me. It's, it's okay, Mom. I I understand how you feel. Daddy may not be here right now, but I know he's up there and he's smiling at us. Thank you, my love. Welcome. You're such a wonderful girl. decided the number of children you want to have? <clears throat> two. Uh. What? Just two? Why? 
Well, uh, there might be a possibility for a third one if, um, you know, it, it all depends on Tina, right? And what is wrong with two? My darling, <laughs> Charles is an only child. And from what he told me, you are too. <laughs> I don't think four is out of place. What? Um, four is quite a lot. Um. Well, uh, both of you can handle it. I mean, the resources are there. It's not as if you will be bringing children into the world to come and suffer. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> um, Charles, Charles and I, I guess we'll, we'll talk about it later then. Charles? Yes, we will. Yeah. Mm. That's my girl. <laughs> you know, you're such a wonderful girl. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Mom. I'm so happy that my son chose, he made the right choice. I'm so proud of you, son. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, my darling. <laughs> How are you today? I'm very well. And you? Very well. I'm off to work. I'll see you when uh, I get back. Can you come here for a second? To sit. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now, I want you to look at this wedding gowns. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are. So, what do you think about this bridesmaid colors? Hmm. Or have you all both picked a color yet? No, we, we haven't. You see, Charles and I, we've been so busy with work. We don't have time to. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll handle it. Okay? I'll take care of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, you go to work, okay? Have a great day, darling. Okay, ma'am. You too. Thank you. That, that reminds me, just... Mom, have you even chosen a date yet? Have you picked a date? Um, no, not, not yet. That's unbelievable. But why are the part of you dragging your feet on this thing like this? Okay, you know what? You go to work. When you come back in the evening, we'll talk extensively about this. We'll make all the plans. Okay, ma'am. Enjoy your day. Have a great day. I'll choose the colors. I'll pick a date. That's all. I like the contract. It's quite understandable and not too ambiguous. So it's a yes? Definitely. Mm. I will uh, get back to them. Adora, I would like to talk to you. About what? Why are you still acting cold towards me? I thought we were friends. Well, Tina, we are still friends, but I'm still mad at you. Anyways, what you want to talk about? Charles's mom is in town to plan our wedding. Mm. Oh, man, she doesn't know, right? Do you think I should just tell her the truth? What does Charles want? Charles thinks we shouldn't tell her. Then do whatever he wants. You owe him that. 
Oh, okay. So is that all? Yeah. Right, I'll get back to you concerning them. Okay. Good contract. What does the mom look like? Mm. That's my girl. <laughs> I can't wait to spill. Oh my god, that woman is so classy, sophisticated, well put together. She's such a sweet soul. I wasn't expecting less. Uh, so, so, does she feel bad about you and Charles living together? Not at all. Look, she's a modern day woman. Like, she doesn't care. All she wants is for us to get married. Like, she's ready to make the plans. Like, what are we wearing? What's the shit? Because the... <laughs> you won't blame her now, would you? She wants to see her first child, an only child, get married. We need to come clean. This whole marriage planning and shopping is driving me crazy. A little more time, baby. A little more time. Mm. We'll walk on clean, okay? Just a little more time. Just hang in there. How long more? Your mother is such a sweet soul and I am tired of lying to her. Ah. <sighs> you know, it's, it's her birthday soon and... You can imagine what telling her something like this would, would do to her at a time like this, you know? What are you saying? I'm saying that we wait and tell her after her birthday, you know, listen, she takes her birthdays quite seriously. Okay? Let's not ruin it for her, please. So, when is her birthday? Saturday, this weekend. Why? So I could buy her a gift. It's her birthday. Look at that. <coughs> Sweetheart, come on. How sweet of you. Hmm? You're the best, you know. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're magic. You want a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm actually thinking the particular fabric we should be going for should be lace. Okay. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> so where are these two very beautiful women <laughs> off to? I'm taking Tina to go and see a friend of mine. She imports fabrics from Switzerland. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. You know, we're thinking we should get the lace material for the Ashebi. So she needs to get it on time and keep it because the festive season is around the corner. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, <clears throat> that's, that's, that's right, that's right. Mm, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Charles, yeah. you're less busy today, so why don't you join us? Exactly, mm? exactly. You know, Charles, it's always good to have more than one opinion in things like this. Um, yes. Uh, no, Mom. I, um, I actually know little to nothing about fabrics. <laughs> uh, so whatever both of you come up with, we'll, we'll be fine. Besides, I already, you know, um, fixed a meeting with a client for this afternoon. So I just passed. I'm sorry. Okay. And what if you don't like what we pick? What? <laughs> of course, I, whatever the both of you come up with, I'll be fine with. Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> come on, girl, yes, let's be on our way. Okay, <laughs> so we'll see you later then. Yes, Mom. Yes. That was a nice outing, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
I had a good time looking and picking out all the beautiful lace materials. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me and too. it was so hard to make a choice because they're all beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wonderful. But um, I am so happy that we were able eventually to settle on one. Yes. <laughs> really nice. I had a good time, Rob. You're going to have a wonderful wedding. Your wedding is going to be so beautiful, outstanding. I can't wait. And thanks to you too. Thank you. It's all right, my love. So um, I'll just go and freshen up. See you later, okay? Okay, ma'am. And I'll make something very delicious for both of us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, then. Let's pretend that someday you'll take my hand and say I do. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend. Hi, Dora. We just got home a few minutes ago. Let's pretend. Honestly, I don't know how all of this is going to turn out. I don't know. But somehow I wish that we really didn't have It's okay, Dora. I'll talk to you pretend. later, okay? Let's just pretend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. And so says all of us. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mom. Mom, we love you. We got you something really special. How dare you, Charles? I want to know why the both of you have been lying to me about getting married. Uh, we... I don't want to hear it. If you know you have no intention of marrying my son, then what are you doing with him? Uh, well, Mom, um, it's our decision. What? What stupid decision is that? Charles, I'm disappointed in you. Lying to your own mother? All because of an irresponsible woman? We live with a man. Enjoy all the perks of marriage. But not actually want to get married? Are you responsible? Now you listen to me. I want to spend the rest of my life carrying my grand and if possible great grandchildren in my arms. If you know you're not ready to give me that, I want you to leave my son. Get out of his life and stay out.
Should we call it a day? No. You've been quiet for some time now. I know. That's because I'm trying to put my thoughts into words. The dreams? Are they back? No. That's good. Right? Do you think I'll find another man like Charles? Do you want to? No. Have you thought about telling him the truth? I don't want to. I think letting him go is the best thing to do. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. I think he deserves to have what he wants. Who knows? I could meet someone else and experience love again. Yes, you could. But what if, like Charles, he asks you to marry him? What then? 
What then? The cycle goes on. Yeah, who is it? Hi, Charles. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon. Please, can I see Tina, please? Is she here? <sighs> no. She's not? No, she's not. Where is she then? I, I, I mean, I've been calling. She's not taking my calls. Been to her office and say she hasn't shown up at work. And now you're telling me that she's not here. Where, where is she? I am. Uh, I don't know. Please. If you see her, let her know that I was here. And let her know that I'd like to see and speak with her. Sure, I will. Be good. I'll try. Thank you. So how did the uh, house hunt? <laughs> I know he's making you all happy. <laughs> so how did the house hunting go today? Hmm. It wasn't easy. Like no one told me that getting an apartment as a single lady in this town is a stressful thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> it. So wait, how did you get this place? I told him I was married. <laughs> so wait, wait. So where's your husband? So when they're not protecting the country. What? <laughs> wait, Dora, of all lies. I was desperate, so I had to do what I had to do. I think I need to apply that. What? <laughs> oh man. Well, um, seriously, Tina, I don't, I don't think you need to leave. Stay as long as you want. Please. I know, Dora, but I really need to get my own place. I want to. Well, if you say so, no problem. But know that I will miss you, especially if you're delicious. Ah, uh, ah, uh, now I know why you would miss me, right? <laughs> As your cook. I know, I knew it. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. Don't uh, worry. Excuse me, please. I'm looking for my friend, Charles. You know where I can find him? That is not even funny. What is wrong with you, man? What the hell is wrong with you? Of course you know what is wrong. You know what is going on, don't you? Leave me alone, man. You're still crying over that girl, Tina. <sighs> Leave me the hell alone, man. Leave me alone. Really? To me, how was your trip? That's on my watch, brother. How was your trip? Don't change the topic. It is my house. I can change anything. How was your trip? <sighs> 
Look, but what are you what are you here for? What do you want? What are you doing here? I came back three days ago. I called your number, but you were not taking my calls. So I decided to come here and see you. I want to know how you're doing. And this is what I see. I wasn't taking calls because I didn't want to talk to anyone. Okay? I... And even right now, I don't think I'm... I don't think I want to see anyone. Really? I guess I'll take my leave then. So we can sit down here and wallow in self-pity. Look, let me know when you're ready to see or talk to somebody, all right? There's a case I have for you. I'm very sure you will love this one. All right, I haven't seen the other document that you sent to me, but the first one, I advise that we're very careful. If you ask me, I think this is a bit tricky. How is it even possible that your competition on the market is asking for partnership with you in the same business? Between Excuse a lawsuit. Me. Oh, okay, it's, it's fine. Yeah, hello. Oh, okay, I'm upstairs. Yeah, the restaurant upstairs. All right. Sorry about that, man. If I'm able to look through the document properly, I assure you that, you know, I'll have your interests protected because, I mean, it's really... Maybe... Yeah. Um, Charles, meet my girlfriend, Tina. Sweetheart, Charles, my lawyer. Hi, Charles. Hello. So as, as I was saying, uh, you don't have all that time that you think that you do. So um, let me get to work immediately, OK? Um, look through the paperwork, and then I'll tell you what way forward, OK? So let me run off so I can beat traffic. All right, no problem, man. All right. All right, be good. Thank you. And Tina, nice to meet you again. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so how's your day? I'm fine. So I'm... what are we ordering? Let me see her. Oh, really? You think I'm lying? No, 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 no. Come in and see for yourself. Mm -hmm. Go in and check for yourself. Go, go in now. Where is she? Well, Charles, she has moved over to her house. She doesn't stay here anymore. Where is she going? Where did she move? Can I at least have the address? I need to see her. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry she wouldn't like that. Come on, help me. I need to ask her a few questions. I need to talk to her. Come on, girl. You, you can help me. Um, Charles, I don't think this will be good for either of you. You really need to move on. Please. Yeah? Move on? Really? <sighs> Just like that? Huh. Charles. Uh, uh. It's fine. I get it.
to stay till the day after eternity. Let's pretend that someday you'll take my hand and say, I do. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. Even though my heart wants it to be real. Let's pretend. It's about the case you, you spoke to me one time about. Case, case. Yes, I'd like for us to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember the one I mentioned to you the other time. Mm -hmm. That okay. one. Brief me. Are you interested? Brief me. Mm. Well, before I go ahead to give you details concerning this case, Charles, there's something you need to understand. This client cannot afford your professional fees. Come on now. Uh, you know I take pro bono cases once or twice a year, as long as it's worth it. So, you know, we can see this as the first for the year, so it's okay. Trust me, this one is worth it. Okay. The woman has been behind bars for 20 years now, a whole 20 years. But I am very convinced within me that she doesn't belong there. What is she in for? Manslaughter. Mm. She killed her husband. Mm. Really? How did you meet this woman? Well, I met her during one of those visits with my NGO at the prisons. Mm. So you chose to do the prisons this time? Uh? Yes, I did. <laughs> Charles. Yes. That place is a totally different world altogether. Uh. This woman, I'd like to know more about her. How do I get to see her? Well, whenever you're ready to meet her, all I just need to do is uh, make a few calls. Wait. Is this you saying that you want to take up the case? Well, I'll decide after I have seen the woman and spoken to her. But I can tell you for certain that I am interested in such cases, so... Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you. It's so good to have you back, honestly. After all that drama with Tina. Mm. Uh, she had no problems moving on. I don't see why I cannot move on. You'll be fine. I'm fine. I am fine. Did you kill your late husband? Yes. But I didn't mean to. I was only defending myself. I did not mean to. Also. 
away in the kitchen. We started arguing. For sudden, he picked a knife <laughs> and stabbed me. He stabbed me. I, I fell. We started. Struggling with a knife. <laughs> Accidentally, I I stabbed him. He he died. He bled to death. Why am I suddenly having these dreams? I thought you said I wasn't Tina, going to... Tina, you have to calm down and talk to me. You don't know how it feels going through that horrible experience over and over again. You don't know. I can't handle it. No, you can. And you will. What do I keep telling you? You don't need to run away from your demons. Stand up to them. Fight them. Face them. Slay them. You can't afford to be weak now, Tina. It's so strange. It's so scary really scary. You don't understand. You don't. I know. I know. But you can't run away from this forever. We can fix it. Together we will. I promise you we can. What can you tell me about Mr. Emma Johnson? He was our driver way back. I think the others would like to have your two hands on the table, Mother. You were convicted based on that man's testimonies alone. I never knew why. I was not given a fair trial, Charles. Do you know why he told all that lie in court? I don't know. But he had to do it. Is 
that what he said to you? Yes, sir. When? Hmm. He, he visited me five years ago. And apologized. And did you forgive him? Yes, I did. Because I, I knew he he was telling the truth. I could see it in his eyes that he was telling me the truth. And I couldn't blame him for what happened to me. We have to find this man. I need to speak to him if we are able to find fresh evidence so I might be able to convince the court to re-establish your case, madam. How are you going to do that? I mean, it's been a while. He could be anywhere. Leave that to me, madam. It's my job. I know a few people who will be willing to help. As long as he's in this country, we'll find him. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I'm late. No, it's all good. Sweetheart, you look amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how's your day been? It's been good. And how's yours been? Wonderful. And I guess it's about to get better. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'm flattered. Tina, you mean a lot to me. You're a breath of fresh air. Enough before I get burnt from blushing too much. <laughs> Will you marry me? No, I will not marry you. Good afternoon, sir. Um, good afternoon. How can I help you? I am here to see Mr. Eno Johnson. Uh, who wants to see him? My name is Barrister Charles, a former. I'm representing Justin Onyema. I don't want to talk uh, to the lawyer. Sir, life. I am aware that you visited her in prison a couple of years ago. So it's either you speak to me willingly or I'll be forced to follow due process. Fine, um, but I, I can't talk to you with my children in here. Oh, okay, we can talk in the car if that's okay by you. 
Okay. Why did you do it? I did it for my wife. Your wife? I don't understand. How can you throw an innocent woman into prison because of your wife? Are you married? No, I'm not. Then you can't understand the bond a husband and wife shares. Uh, Mr. Johnson, I know that you feel terrible about what you did. I know. If you did not, you will not be sitting in this car and talking to me. But I'll also want you to know that this is your chance. Your chance to right your wrong. I'm not a bad person. They offered me money and I couldn't say no because my wife was sick and I needed the money very badly. Hmm. I get it. Uh, however, an innocent woman is rotting in jail because of what you did. You have to help. Or do you want to spend the rest of your life living with the guilt that I see in your eyes? Just now, husband used to beat her silly back then. He broke her leg at a point and she had to spend some time in the hospital. My goodness. What? He got away with everything because he came from a rich and influential family. Why would a woman stay with a man that treats her that way? Why? Don't blame just now. She had to endure because of her child. Oh, she has a child? Yes. She hasn't mentioned it to you? Oh, no, um, she did not. But I'm certain she must have her reasons. Look, uh, Mr. Johnson, you would have to testify, right? As soon as I'm able to I get... I can't. I've offered you all the help I can. Mr. Eno Johnson, you're human. You have a heart. You will testify. For all the years that the innocent woman have spent in prison. How can I go back to the court and tell them that I gave a false testimony 20 years ago? I could be arrested and jailed for, for perjury. Uh, what happens to my children then? I understand your fears. Don't worry about that. I will talk to the judge and explain the circumstances surrounding all that happened years ago. And I'm certain he will cut you a good deal. Relax. But we need you. Are you sure about that? You have my word. It's my car. Ah, car troubles, eh? Uh, yeah, I've tried all I can, <laughs> but it's not coming on. I get it. Car troubles, eh? 
sorry sorry can be quite embarrassing oh my goodness ah you know how terrible i am with cars <laughs> how could i forget that? okay i'll just call my mechanic um he'll just come here look at it and pick it up and have it fixed and you know okay. uh, that's if you don't mind it's okay, it's okay. If you don't mind now do you it's fine how you been good ah tina you know what? I'll just get my phone. Okay. Let's get my phone. Hello? I'm Sharafa. Yeah. So, here we are. Thank you so much for today. You're welcome. Um, don't worry your head about your car. Um, he'll have it fixed and um, sent to you before the end of today, I'm sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, God, you look so beautiful. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, you're seeing someone. Uh. Um, we actually broke up. Yeah, but but you're you're right. We we shouldn't be. It's it's okay. Whatever. Uh, thanks for today. Bye. There wasn't really much to it. Um, the case was already a slam dunk, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. The yeah. moment I presented the evidence and put it on the table, the case it's dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> this is really great news, man. Thank I'm you. so happy to hear this. Thank you. Thank you. So Justina is a free woman now. Mm -hmm. She is free. She's free. You know what? What? You? You're the best man. Thank you. <laughs> you did it, man. Nah. <laughs> we did it. We, we did, did it? it. We did it. Yeah. Right? We did it. You know, it's it's what we do for humanity sometimes. And I told you, I go pro bono when it's worth it. Hmm? And you did it. We. It's nice to see you. Same here, dear. <laughs> and you look well, you look good. Oh, thank you. That's what freedom does to you. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know you you will be wondering why I came to see you. Oh, not at all. I already see you as family. Eh? So you're free to come here and see me, whatever you you want. It's fine. Oh, thank you so much. You don't know what that means to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I intend going to see my daughter. And I want you to come with me, please. Please. Okay. Um, well, why would you want me there? I was in prison for 20 years. My daughter did not come for one day to see me. It's so sad. What? 
Why? I, I guess her father's family must have told her so many lies about me. I don't know why. So you think that she would not believe you if you told her the truth? I know so. She will not believe me. And that's why I want you to come with me as a lawyer. My lawyer. <laughs> she will hear. Okay. Um, I'll come with you. Oh, thank you. Mm. It's thank fine. You. I thank think it's something so I can do for you. Oh, thank you so much. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you so much. It's fine. Thank you. It's Thank okay. You. Thank you. Charles, what are you doing here? Is that your daughter? No. Dara, don't tell. My daughter. <laughs> so I neglected my own mother for so long. Just because of a cooked up story. I wanted to tell you that you were just a child. You wouldn't have understood. I feel so terrible. I wasn't there for you where you needed me the most. It's okay. We have each other now. And everything is okay. It's alright. I'm so sorry, Mom. Please. Please forgive me. Please. Please, my dear. I love you so much. Love you. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, Mom. It's alright. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Mm, <laughs> look who is here. <laughs> Tina, well, you didn't inform me you were coming. I know, I'm sorry about that, but I had to rush before you left the office. I just passed by to give you this. My wedding. Mm. Wow! Congratulations! Thank you, ma'am. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'll definitely be at your wedding. And we will be glad to have you. So, it is Charles, huh? <laughs> yes. No more fears. No more fears. That's good. No more fears. I am so relieved. Hmm. You know, for a long while, I, I thought my mother killed my father intentionally. So that thought made me have so much hatred for marriage. Hmm. But now I know the truth. I am free, I'm happy, I'm relieved. So I'm no more scared. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. You know what? You will definitely make an excellent wife and mother. Thank you have you. so much love in your heart. Thank Always you. allow it flow. Sure, I will. <laughs> Well, I think my work here is done. 
No, not yeah. at all. I wouldn't it's want done. my money to waste. No, not at all. We'll have Look to keep on you. doing this session. <laughs> Good to have you around. Thank you. Bro. I'm happy for you. Thank you. It's gonna take forever to separate you and me. Let's pretend you are here to stay till the day after eternity. Let's pretend. That someday you'll take my hand and say, I do. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend. Even though my heart wants it to be real. Let's pretend. Even though you know that we were meant to be. Let's pretend. But somehow I wish that we really didn't have to let's pretend let's just pretend where's the love that lasts forever that i dream about each time i see your face and i look in your eyes is there something you've been hiding is it what i need to know Like a mirage, I try to let you go, but it's the same like I am running from my shadows. Loving you, loving you, or letting you go. Don't know which is harder. Where's the love that lasts forever? That I dream about each time. I see your face and I look. Let's pretend that someday you take my hand and say I do. 